Hello everyone, my name is Alex Waddell and for today's VistaView by Design Brain Boost, I wanted to show you how to create a new year. Seems like good timing. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go over to SAP by Design and uh, open up your General Ledger Work Center. So down here in this <coughs> yellow area, we're going to go to General Ledger. And you're going to choose the option to open up set of books and assigned companies. This task is very simple, but typically you're going to have to be some sort of a system administrator in order to do this. So before we start, there are some prerequisites. Normally I would go into my edit fiscal years, but let's just go check something first. I'm going to choose a set of books and a company that I want to focus on. And I'm going to go into open and close periods. And I'm going to check a couple of things. So the first thing I want to illustrate is there is no 2022 set up in the system yet. So that's our objective today. And the prerequisites are that you cannot have more than three years open in your system, meaning that you, um, you have to close the calendar year, but you also have to make sure that the periods are not open as well. So if I go back a couple of years, I'm going to go to 2018, double check. Everything there is blocked and closed. I'm going to filter on 2019. And this is a good little trick to just be able to filter all your periods by year. It's just clicking on the header. And you can see that I do have all of my periods as open. So I'm just going to use my shift key. I'm going to highlight all those rows. I'm going to close the period. And now everything here is blocked. We're going to save and close that. I didn't really look at 2020 because that's within my three year range. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go to my edit fiscal years. And you can see here that the most current year I have open is 2021. And you can see that 2019 is still open technically. However, all my carry forward as in my retained earnings role has happened. So if I do try and click on a new fiscal year here, I'm going to get an error that says more than three years open creation of future fiscal year is not permitted. So let's just go to our 2019. And I'm going to choose the option to close the fiscal year, which is going to change that to blocked. If you get an error here, that error is probably because you have periods open and it will not let you close the period without, or sorry, it will not let you close the year without those periods being uh, closed first. So we should be in good shape now. I'm going to save this just to be thorough. And now I'm going to choose the new fiscal year button. And you can see our bar got a little longer, so I have to scroll down a bit. And we now have a 2022 uh, fiscal year created in the system. Uh, and of course, retained earnings, and this is my test environment, so I'm a little bit slow on closing my prior years. You're probably not in this situation, but we'll show you in a different video how to actually roll your retained earnings for your prior year. So stay tuned for that. Just going to close this screen. And I'm going to go back to my open and close periods. And now you can see that my 2022 periods have all been created in the system. And the system is automatically assumed that it should open up January. So I don't really need to do anything there. Today it's the early January, so I'm good. If I wanted to, I could go and I could start opening up other periods, whatever your business uh, process dictates. So I'm happy with that. And now if we go to a different company, um, just to illustrate that, I want to go into my edit fiscal years as an example. You'll see that this company, I haven't even created 2021. So keep that in mind for each combination of company and sets of books, you will have to manage that calendar. That calendar includes periods as well as a fiscal year. So you'll have to repeat the process I just showed you for each one of your active companies. And that's it. So thanks for joining us. That was your weekly by design brain boost. Have a good day.